Your job when naming ionic compounds is to determine what the positive and negative ions that make up the compound were. In this case, the metal was Na, and the ion that it makes is Na plus 1. The anion here is HCO3 with a minus 1 charge. Now you might recognize CO3 with a 2 minus charge. This is the same thing with an H added on. If you can name both of these ions, you just put those two names together and you've got the name of the compound. Na is sodium, so that part's easy. HCO3 minus one has two different names and I don't know which one your teacher's gonna prefer. The one that I personally prefer is bicarbonate. HCO3 with a minus one charge can be called bicarbonate, but some teachers are going to ask you to write out that ion name as a two word hydrogen carbonate. The reason some teachers do this is because once you get to phosphate, you can have dihydrogen phosphate and regular hydrogen phosphate. I get why, and bi kind of implies that there's two of something. That's just the common name that we use for HCO3 minus. So I don't know which one of these your teacher wants. You're gonna have to find out for yourself. But the idea behind this and all the other ionic compounds is that you figure out what your plus ion was and you name it. You figure out what your minus ion was and you name it. Put them together, Dunzo McGrunzo. Best of luck to you.